Hey, hi, hello. Hello, hi. In case you forgot who I was in the week of time that you were not watching this show, it's Fury. Fury Shadow. Also the name of the channel you're watching. Now, wouldn't that be surprising? So, <coughs> today, it's, um, a bit after 2.30? Uh, no, it is, it's, no, it's a bit after 2. A bit after 2. It's not 2.30 yet. And today we're playing D&D. &D. But, um, <laughs> but first, but first, you know what's coming, and you just don't want to hear it. We've got a sponsor. I mean, some of you might want to hear this, because it is actually a pretty good product. Anyway, today, today, I got something for you. I got some, uh, got some good content. Now, we got a shirt from Yes Custom. What's Yes Custom, you might ask? Well, they sell shirts, because I just mentioned a shirt from there. And their shirts. You can get any design you want on them, even your girlfriend's face, which, of course, they specialize in. Get your girlfriend's face all over your shirt. Good idea. And these shirts are so strong that they'll last, you know, they'll outlast that relationship. They might even outlast, uh, might even outlast, um, your parents' marriage. You never know. Now, remember, if you get a Yes Custom shirt and you order it today, the shop will still be open. But tomorrow, well, I don't know. All these crazy things are happening in 2021. Maybe tomorrow, like, half the internet's gonna be destroyed, and the shop will no longer be open for you to get your own Yes Custom shirt. So go order it today, and, uh... Also, if you decide to get a shirt that has my face put all over it, and you want to mail it to me, that's cool. I'll take it. Uh, that's a good deal. But I don't think any of you will. Anyway, now to the game. So, who here is going to give the recap? I will, despite not being here for most of the session. So far, the Dickshot gang comes back with a bang. Elman talks to the god, makes a deal, and changes his deity. Rel has a meltdown over all that has happened, but decides it's best to keep an eye on the group till Yin comes back and Elvin Rail discuss how to bring Yin back. Elvin, having no clue at all on what to do, they head to the priest. He goes on about his god, and then their hero leave the church, and they come to the conclusion to leave to Yin to come back to life again. Meanwhile, Yin is trying to find a way to escape his death. Elvin, not learning his lesson, decides to try to kill the thing that ate the sun. Rail stops. What is with you? Okay, fine. Uh, uh, let's see. Then things happen, and Elvin discovers there's something moving under the sand. Rail finds the village, has a fascination of reading uh, completely blank books and telling the same story, but entirely different. Elvin bursts in the church, warning of an incoming danger. Then King Ghidorah appears. Let's hear how they handle this. Yep, so and uh, Pan Pan's Pan Pan just quest. sitting uh, it out in the sea on his little boat made of ice eating a roast mackerel. <laughs> yep, he's just eating mackerel. Was you the only one who watched Pan Pan in the group? <laughs> We just left Pan Pan to sit there and wait for us. Oh yeah, they kind of just left Pan Pan up to the, his own devices, and so... Yeah, he's just eating mackerel right now. <laughs> okay. Um... Nobody knows He can make he... a gun that can shoot anything, he'll be fine. Uh, nobody knows how he caught the mackerel. Uh, we don't actually know how he cooked it either, because he doesn't have a fire, but... It's cooked, and it's caught. And he's eating it. Oh no, where's the real fish? <laughs> oh no! But in all reality, I'm pretty sure the fish would have cooked and ate Pan Pan if they would have gotten to a tussle. 
Oh no. Yeah. Oh no, uh, Ryle's fish is a cod. It's a different kind of fish. Alright. Okay, okay. I mean, the force of the great dragon's roar causes a wave that pushes Pan Pan onto the shore. And he manages to not drop the mackerel. So, yeah, now they're with the rest of the party. Now, now, now the three remaining members of the party are together. <laughs> oh good, you're here. I'm not gonna even question where did you got that, but anyways. Uh, what are we supposed to do now? I mean, we could always go through with my stupid plant and attempt to kill it. You said it yourself. It's a stupid plan. So no. I want to attempt to like analyze it, see if I can spot a weak weakness. So you're gonna analyze the dragon. That's all the yes. way over there. Oh yes, Elpin. Analyze the weakness in the 120-foot-tall, three-headed dragon that's shooting out lightning beams. Well, no, I mean, the dragon is, like, it's all the way over there. Like, <laughs> like it's not like it landed in front of you. No, it's it's really far away. It's worth Oh, well then, never mind. Like, the the extent of how you can see it is the fact that it has two wings, three heads, two tails. That's the most you can see. But, like, that's the most detail you can see, because it's all the way over there. Oh. I mean, nobody can ignore <laughs> its commanding presence, sure. But... Yeah. You know... <laughs> <laughs> it's over there. Yin just completely doesn't know this exists and just chilling as a mole right now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, um, uh, Pan do you have any ideas whatsoever? Uh, oh, not really. We've got nothing. Uh... And pans like Ferb. <laughs> um. Why is this so difficult? Okay, okay, so... Um... Uh, I, I guess, I guess we, we try How about to... we book it? Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Mm, I In suggest we all run. In what direction? Away from the three-headed giant dragon. It's above you. Great. Which direction? Um, hey, how fast, I mean, how far away can we get with the rising water? The place where the water is, um, the least deep. You're not, like, standing in water. The Get dungeon... that we're not standing in water, but it's rising, and if we run, it's eventually gonna... We're eventually gonna have some close calls. Consider this. 
do you think a village would build its foundation? Do you think a village would build itself below the waterline? I mean, I don't know. They're reading blank books, all telling the exact same story but completely different. This village seems kind of dumb. Don't worry, Alvin. Pan Pan also doubles the flotation device. <laughs> Only people that'll that'll be and paint a dwarf, right? Yeah. Only people that'll be um floating um on pan pan will be um nibbles and the raven. Nibbles is a fish, he doesn't have to float on pan pan. Even better, Raven has more room. <laughs> so no, Elvin will be fine, he can just slay, stay just a tiny bit above the um water level. Not too much, just a tiny bit. When was the last time Elvin swam? Um... Well, it couldn't have been too long ago, considering they, um, were, um, people riding a ship, um, in fishing villages and stuff. <laughs> So, trying to think. So Elvin Sorry. is certain that he can swim. That's good. He can swim. Just rather not. And Rael, I'm assuming that so what so you you've also swam before, Rael, right? Rael's also swam before, right? Yeah. He has? Good. Yes. That's good. Good. You can swim. That's that's a good thing to make sure of. Mm-hmm. And Pan Pan swim? Uh -huh. um, Pan Pan uh, is this? Oh. Okay. The last time I remember Pan Pan swimming was when we went the whale. Back then, like, the water was lighter. I feel like yeah, Pan Pan thinks he there. can swim, but I can't. Or Pan Pan is a sphere. At the very least, he can float. <laughs> what should I do? What should I do? Why is it in here? I know. So I have my ice boat. I mean, what? it's on the land, but you can push it. We all fit in it. Uh, so, so you say you are going to push it into the water, that's what I heard? Um, yeah, if we can all fit in it, yes. Uh, yes. Well, you can all fit in it, but with not, but you'll have to be, you know, pretty crowded. The boat will is low, low on the water. Y'all are lucky my pets came with me, because there was no way you were getting that fire snake on that boat of ice. Yeah. 
Why is it the worst situation that could have happened? Why when Nien was gone? I what did we do? Did we take the boat? Run <laughs> away? Okay, oh. yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, that's that's an idea. Also, not to be that guy, but Elpin was the last person to see Yin alive, and I don't think anyone's questioned him on how Yin died. <laughs> Surprising. No. I mean, uh, I he he did he did tell. Uh, Rail heard it. He told practically to all the adults in the village last session. He confessed that it was most likely his fault that Yin was dead. That's about right. <laughs> What's also funny is that um, whenever the dragon appeared, it did everything that those villagers said that the that swallowed the sun did, but yet Rail's just keeping quiet about that. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's struggling to keep his composure <laughs> leaving me. <laughs> what if that's the thing that ate the sun? He's... he's... that's his theory. His theory is that the, the three-headed dragon that just appeared doing exactly everything that was described in the village uh, is the thing that ate the sun, and he is panicking about it. About it. Okay, 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 everyone. Let's let's just let's just get in the boat, in Fan Fan's boat. Let let's just let's just go. Good idea. Okay. You get on the boat. You're on the boat. Nice. Um, okay, okay. So we need to we need to start moving. Uh uh. Yeah, let's, um, let's, let's try to, let's try to get away by moving, yes. Hmm. Okay. You... You all try to propel the boat, but it doesn't travel very fast. <laughs> what is that background noise? What is that background <coughs> If Copper is under attack? Uh, yeah. By the bird uh, gang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the... My Bourbon's my revenge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have a couple of guardian dogs, and they like to chase birds around. So yeah. I have an idea. What if we try to communicate with it? <laughs> Mm 
Rail just looks just looks in a mix of disgust and disappointment towards Elvin. I don't know how to I'm serious, we can stay all the way back here. You wouldn't know where we walk. You wouldn't know where we are. It'd just be us talking to it. Okay. Yeah, don't worry, guys. Elvin speaks Draconic. He totally got this. <laughs> Perform an intelligence no, save. I was trying to, um... I was going to cast Skyrite, but... He doesn't know Draconic. Perform an intelligence saving throw to try to communicate. Five. You are too intimidated to address it. That fails. It's too scary, I can't do it. Great, you have common sense! It's the first time we've seen it. And it'll be the last. We do, what do we so wait, do? the problem is do? that they're not escaping fast enough. Can we use your Eldritch Blast like this further? Can I do that? A while ago, I think. You're trying to get you trying to Eldritch Blast it? You may. You can try. Oh, like. Hi. Oh. I mean, like, the water and the force would pull us away. The first ever speedboat. Yeah. Yeah, I want to cast Eldritch Blast. So you said you're trying to cast Eldritch Blast in order to push the boat. <laughs> That's what you said. Yes. Okay, are you going to cast it into the water or into the air? Into the water. I do not want the dragon to think it is a threat. I mean... You're moving faster than you were when you were, uh, paddling? Still not very fast? <laughs> but slightly faster, and faster is better, because it's pretty scary. Yep. I'm assuming um, no one here has ever heard of something that can propel boats before. Yes? No. If somebody no, has, they can turn just... into a sail? To a what? Are you referring to a sail? Because I'm pretty sure a boat had sails. Oh. I mean, yes, but no. I was referring to, like, um, like, uh, I don't know, never mind. Um, but. After realizing, oh yeah, it sails. Can I cast prestidigitation and make us and make a sail? I don't think prestidigitation does that. You can make a. Yeah, I doubt a sail can fit into his hand. I really doubt a sail can fit into Elbin's hand.
Yeah, and it also only lasts for five seconds. No, oh, it lasts for one hour. So oh, you can create the thing you were talking about is create the uh, illusion thing until the end of your next turn. So five seconds. Ah. The one hour is in reference to like it's a different effect. The one hour is in I think it's in reference to like the fire that you can hold in your hand. Yeah, because you can actually hold it. Yeah, you, know, you can hold a little fire in your hand. Doesn't offer very much light, but it's a little bit. If you want to look at something small and close. Also, Elbin could have cleaned all of our outfits, but actively chose not to. Yep. Exactly. That's that's uh. Yin, can you stop being dead? Please! Uh, can we, like, cut to Yin? This is too stressful. Well, that depends. Does Yin want to cut to Yin? Does, does Hive want to cut to Yin? I'm fine cutting to Yin. I have... Sort of a plan. Sort of a plan. Okay, that's she right? Okay, we're going back to Yen? <laughs> mm, we're, 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 we're looking at him. That's she right? Okay. Yen realizing he can't get through this bedrock with just his little mole form, he goes back up to the surface, de transformed, and goes, Well, I guess I guess there's nothing we can do. Psych turns into a giant badger and starts digging again. By the way, a uh, giant badger is roughly bigger than Pan Pan, so Pan Pan is still the shortest member of the group. So I've doubled the stupid dig speed of the stupid mole, because I don't know why I was thinking being a stupid little mole. And... What like are, to... are you just digging down, or are you digging in a direction? I'm digging, I'm digging, trying to dig, like, downward at uh, more of a angle. That way I can have a bigger hole to either if I can dig through it with my giant badger claws or if I can get a hole wide enough for me to blast some stuff down. One of those two. Depends on whether my claws can get through the bedrock now or if I can just make the hole wider because I can make a medium-sized crevice with my claws. By the time you get down to the bedrock, you find that your claws aren't strong enough to begin breaking it. Okay, so is this just attack rolls, or...? It's it a time? strength check. Okay. I'll go roll that in the box. Also, I like to make a connotation. Pan Pan changed his uh, this little thing from spaghetti to Macriel spaghetti. Yes. <laughs> What's uh? I do not know anything about this spaghetti. Man, I only rolled a ten. That's high enough. Ooh, yeah. You're breaking it. Oh, this is gonna be so bad for you if a giant badger just appears in your tiny little boat. <laughs> yeah, Yin is just breaking the bedrock of death. What I mean, if anyone would have done it, it would have been Yin. <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> yeah, honestly. Although, I am 90% sure I have no idea what Pan Pan has, because I have not seen him cast a single spell yet. Oh, wait, that's not true. He casted Mending and Cure Wound once. Wait, Pan Pan? What do you mean Pan Pan hasn't cast spells yet? What are you talking about? Yin hasn't seen Pan Pan cast spells, but Pan Pan has cast uh, Mending and Cure Wounds. As He's once, cast as a lot of fight. spells. <laughs> yeah, that one fight where he actually did things. Well, no, yeah. all of his inventions. I have not seen him say do or we, use a do you single know how, Okay, do you know how an artificer works? Yes, I know an artificer works. I've just never seen him say or use a single invention. Yeah. They make inventions, my guy. <laughs> Uh, okay. Okay. Well. Sure, also, is that the level where you can make a bag of holding or enchant a piece of equipment? If he can make two bags of holdings, we would have the ultimate weapon. We already have one dead party member. We do not need a second. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, Fury, about how much time has passed for them? I don't know how much time. A lot of time. Plenty. Because, I mean, uh, more like, has it been more than eight hours? Because that's how long dark vision lasts. No. Oh, okay. You mean how much time has passed for them? How much time has passed for them has been uh, about about three and a half hours since y'all okay, woke okay. up sure. in the morning. Case the bad one still yes. left in play. Um, yeah. This morning, you all, you know, it's, it did, you did, it's not been a whole day. It's not been long, long time. It's been a less than long, long time. Hmm. Wait, you have been gone for less than three hours, and all this has happened? <laughs> Yeah, you good luck charm. Elvin, Pentan, and Rail alone. <laughs> what else did you expect? I expected you guys to keep Elvin quiet like normally. <laughs> I don't know what you think the past um sessions we've had were, but Elvin has not been quiet <laughs> at all. Even if he's been told to. Kid left very specific instructions on what to do. Whatever he left, none of it's been used. Oh, uh, Yin is actively digging through the bedrock right now? Yes. Okay. While he's digging through the bedrock, Yin starts to think, Why did I say psych? Like, no one was around to hear me. I could have just transformed again and done this quicker. You have shape water, correct? Mm-hmm. Why was this such a prop? Why was the boat thing such a problem for you then? Uh, 
Elbin doesn't want to use his powers. His special you, warlock spells. You literally just there. cast Eldritch Blast to try and propel you forward. You tried to cast Skyrite. What are you talking about? Well, he had to. He had to. Skyrite, no. Are you sure you made the ice boat too? What? What are you doing? I don't think so. So the ice boat I think Pan Pan made. Pan Pan carved the boat. Elvin made the ice. Uh, see, joint effort. <laughs> uh, that you was keep before. Calling it, you keep calling it a boat as if it's like a well-shaped boat. <laughs> Is it, it just a box? It's a platform. Of ice. It's a blood. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yes, it's about it's about three feet thick by about ten feet by ten feet. Well, it's pretty big at least. I don't think I quite explained that. It's a it's it, <laughs> like it's still a boat. But it's not like that kind of boat. It's a raft. It's, it's yeah. More, yeah, it's more like a raft. <laughs> or like a plantoon. Those. A pla a, 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 pla a pla a uh, a plantoon. What's a plantoon? <laughs> it's basically just a uh, straight uh, flat platform in the middle of the water. Could you perhaps mean a pontoon? Yeah, I got the plan yeah, word from the game. I mean, yeah, I've never pontoon. heard of plantoon. What's that like? Like a combination of like a of like a plantera and a and a pontoon. I've never heard of a plantoon. But guess what? Guess what? Yeah. That's a boss now. <laughs> Ooh, this is getting worse and worse for you guys. No, really, no, really. I mean, well, no. I mean, yeah, yeah. That's a boss now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sam's profile picture has cursed some poor party, and now I'm doing it. This is this is going so well. <laughs> nice. We we are just cursing <laughs> other other people. Gargantuan plant on a line challenge reading sixteen. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. attacks include, like, I don't know, how, how do, attacks include, like, a clouds of spores that follow it around and, like, six vines that can all deal bite attacks. Boom, plantoon. Are they, quick question, is the plant, like, a f floating on water since it's in a mix between a plant and a pontoon? <laughs> Yeah, it, yeah, it's like a lotus. Is it Because then it could have like grapple and then swallow attacks. Why are you grapple giving him ideas? Why would it grapple and swallow? <laughs> it's a lotus. Why would it be out there attacking random people and biting? Also, I'm giving him ideas because I'm not there to deal with it currently. <laughs> but yeah, I know I mean, you're like... about to be there soon. Yeah, but like, Hopefully. why? Yeah, but plants eat through their roots, so like it drags it down to its root bulb. Mm -hmm. The tendrils. That's how lotus. A lotus doesn't eat. It absorbs things through its root. Okay, I didn't know it was actually a lotus. I thought it just looked like a lotus because you know how some plants have like pretty flowers to attract yeah. animals and small bugs towards it before they eat them. That's what I kind of thought. Anyway, anyway also, it, it's canon that Rail has a... Like... Has a, a spider... No, thing. don't get it wrong. It's not I here don't... right now. Great. We'll it's... deal with it later. <laughs> It's still not as horrifying as a spider pig. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. 
You know, you were supposed to encounter a spider peg a few sessions ago. What? Thank God we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's it's canon that Rael has a spider-like sense uh, for stupidity when Elvin is doing something. I feel like he would be digging. Pretty sure that's called a migraine. Well, no, I mean, I feel like you would be desensitized to it by now, considering that it, it's always being stimulated. <laughs> it's more like, it's more like he's getting in the, hit in the head with a sledgehammer every single time Elvin talks. Why are you guys so mean to him? Why don't you come up with good plans? <laughs> Why is your plan attack and then ask questions? Without the asking questions, Park. Oh, but it's the literal definition of attack first, ask questions later. Like, yeah, like... Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, how's... How's, uh, Yin's... Excavation for for being not dead. It's going. It's not going fast, but it's going. Perfect. Was he in like this group's sanity barrier, just keeping Rail sane while Pan Pan stayed quiet and Elbin just did things? <laughs> yes. <laughs> You know, it's interesting that Elbin, like, considering that they're used to being, like, considering that they're used to, like, have to fend for themselves, you know, and, like, you know, like, act mature, surprising that they don't, like, that they haven't, like, tried to, like, I mean, they kind of have tried to step up as a leader, but I'm surprised that they don't have more charisma, you know, because... Like, Albion does have experience with trying to fend for themselves. Like, and I understand that doesn't necessarily translate to being a leader, but they have less charisma than I would have expected. I'm pretty sure 20 is the maximum. His charisma is hindered by either his intelligence or his wisdom. One of the two is making him just tell off. All these yeah, it's like, yeah, like your character has 20 charisma, but they don't act like they have 20 charisma. I mean, he's more charismatic than Rail, but Rail is uh, a better leader, would be a better leader. But he's not because he has uh, he has constant panic attacks. <laughs> when being in a position of charge <laughs> as of now and you can't give it to pan pan because i don't think he's said more than 10 words since the moment we met him again he's the verb to our phineas i mean well at least pan pan is very useful yeah but Maybe not necessarily to the party, but he... He's... I mean, like... He he, he, get, he can get things done if he if he's motivated to. When is... When is he motivated? We never know. Well, it's all up to him to decide. So, party... You're paddling. I mean... I will be right back. My computer will die in five minutes. Alright. The dragon... That's been England, so all of you guys are gonna die in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs>
the dragon sits regally in the air. It it just it floats up there. You can't see its details, but you can feel how majestic it is. Okay. You try to you try to focus your efforts on you know paddling and pushing the boat, but you keep getting distracted by how you know just like by the mystique. You know you keep being allured by this great creature in the sky. Uh. <laughs> oh no. Why? Why? Why did the with the fucking why did the fucking god had to live? Why did Yin had to die? <laughs> why now is this thing here? <laughs> also, um quick, quick thing. Uh Elvin hasn't told anyone in the party that uh, he switched deities. <laughs> He's keeping it a secret. <laughs> he just told Rail that the the other god left. <laughs> also, pretty sure this would fall under his new deity's jurisdiction, but he refuses yeah. to call him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just because. <laughs> I mean, that. Also, I'll... Well, yeah, I mean, Elvin has just... I mean, Elvin, like, killed their last remaining family member in order to gain a new transformation that involved becoming the flaming avatar of their deity that specializes in illusions in order to gain power so that they can overtake a young man w who is fighting the demons sealed inside him and the universal hatred by all of his community in order so that he because he someday wants to become king you're telling me Elbin killed his past deity I'm sorry what what <laughs> That's yes, what I just right. got out of that. <laughs> Pretty sure I just heard you say that he killed her. How much do you hate Yin? Like, come on! <laughs> Did... <laughs> oh... I wouldn't have traded the power if I knew that it would have killed her. Now I feel bad. And now I have an actual reason to make Elbin be distant and feel guilty. Yeah. Let's also remember that this entire situation where you had the option to trade your god was specifically because you challenged it to a fight and then started to distract it for like 30 minutes so you could summon a stupid raven and then did parlor tricks around it. Consequences. Elvin really is stupid. Did you stop to consider why he was sent to kill you, but then he decided to let you and your comrades live? Like... Like, when the Reaper is summoned, they must bring a soul back with them. 
No. She doesn't have a soul, though. She's a lich. The whole thing about liches is keeping their mind and their soul when they, they come back, because that's the only thing that separates them from zombies. God. Uh, I just killed just her! The, basically just took the floor out of the phylactery, wherever that is. I swear, I didn't want to kill her. <laughs> I thought your whole goal was to cure her or find a way to kill her. Like, you completed half your goal. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Now, it's her lord, they're the way to bring her back, but she wouldn't want that. But Elbing feels too guilty to not do that. Oh, I'm sorry, you're gonna lichify your pre lished mom? <laughs> yes, basically, with, um, with Pan Pan's help, yes. What? Her organs, her organs are scattered across the world. I just like how you're excluding Rail out of this plan entirely. Yeah, well, Rail is that useful right now. Was the, Rail is the only reason you guys are alive, basically. I'm not in yeah, this future I'm... plan to bring back in my mom. I'm keeping you alive right now by not letting Elvin do anything. Rail is your only moral compass right now. Yep. A panicking moral compass, but a moral compass. <laughs> I also like how we're just completely avoiding the fact that um, in the background, in in the near future, Elbin will just be playing the xylophone. Yeah. <laughs> how do you know you'll survive long it. enough to learn? Yeah. <laughs> Also, I love how no has that neither Elvin nor Pan Pan had tried to calm Rail down. <laughs> they just left. Well, I mean, it's kind of good that Elvin isn't the one to try and speak with you. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> do you also feel like this? You know how we're trying to run away, but that thing is, is like, like too majestic to go away, actually? Is anyone else getting that feeling? Like when you are watching someone burn, you want to look away? But you just can't because it's weirdly hypnotizing. Isn't that the only reason you guys are keeping Elvin around? <laughs> yeah. But in all seriousness, oh, justice, justice. Real quick, read what shape water does. We are going to die. We are so going to die. 
<laughs> We're gonna join Jin, but that'll be too late! <laughs> So, does he didn't have to make any more strength uh, checks, or he just you digging through, through this? You break through into a cave. Okay, okay. Ooh, giant badgers still have dark vision. Good. 30 feet. <laughs> what do I see? The walls are rough. It smells dirty. It doesn't smell like anything lives in here, it just smells like soil. Okay. Okay. I would like to see. I'd like to try and see if there is a way out of this, like an opening of some sort. The only way out is to go deeper, as far as you can see. You're in a room of, that's made of a hollow in the stone. Above you, it's the sand. It's the, just up to the sand that you dug from. And but there is a there is a hole that you can go down. I'm gonna continue going downward because I'm pretty sure, if from what I remember correctly, the sand's going to like into the room a bit until like the edges are like gone so I just start digging before that happens you get down I mean you go down the hole there's another cave this one's wetter it's wetter there's wet in it. Um, I mean, on one side, the spot where you land, it's dry, but then out over the side, there's water. Does it look like there's anything inside the water? No. I mean, well, plants some kind of water plant, but no, it's not, um, no fish, no, like, crabs. Okay, okay. Um, when I say plants, it... they're, and I, when I say plants, they're like, they're small, they're like, less than a foot tall. Oh, okay, okay. So, uh, just to picture this, is it like I'm on, like, a small little area and there's water surrounding it or is it like one side has water on it and the back half has is just dry imagine a well imagine a room you have one side that is dry and the other side which has a deep pit of water there are no, there is no edge that you can walk around the water. It's just one entire side. One, one side of the room is wholly wet, with a deep. It's, it's a deep pit of water. It's about like 15 feet deep. It's not like the, it's not the kind that you could just walk through. Okay, okay. So basically, it's a beach to ocean situation with no shallow zone. Okay. I would like to go over towards the drier part. Yeah, sorry, I'm back. Digging through because the water does not look safe. Yin's opinion. It's called a pool. Okay. Now you talk to collect me? Great. 
just got back. Well, you get down and digging through first, but uh, you um you dig through first a, a layer of stone before it gets down to soil. Um, after digging through the soil, you go into another layer of stone before you come out in another cave. This one is made of a different stone than the other caves you've been in. Can I try and see what the stone is made of? Like, which stone is it? Or which material? Um, it appears to be, uh, limestone. Okay, okay. The previous one that you were in appeared to be some kind of metamorphic rock. Maybe slate or shale. Mm, okay. Quick. Ethan would like to dig a bit into the wall to see if there's any other cave systems here. Just to check the place out a little bit. It's a softer stone. Uh, you can break through it more easily. Um, I mean, at this point, uh, your hands are hurting. Your hands are hurting at this point, um, because you've dug through, like, a solid 30 or 40 feet of stone. Like, it hurts. You're, you're, they're sore right now. I suggest you rest. You don't have to. You can continue. It'll be slower. <laughs> but I suggest, so, but, like, you okay. could. Okay. In would like to make sure that he's in a safe enough area. Make sure the area is safe. He's not going to be, like, suddenly it's not going to have a cave in or something. Then he will bamp out of uh, wild shape his pets, get food, light a small fire with his amaturgy. Um, Just chill out for a bit. <laughs> Just have a short rest. Upon exiting your form, you find a pot near you. Oh, interesting. I'll take the pot. Is it to... I'll just take the pot with me. That'll be useful. Not like also, a take some pot. limestone. Not not a cooking pot. Like Okay, okay. No, like, like a... Oh, clay Legend of Zelda type pot? Yeah, the pot? kind that you're supposed to smash. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, first, before anything, I... You take like little shards of like limestone because, and put them in my bag since that would be sort of useful. Then I just straight up smash the pot. Yeah, I mean, like the thing is, you can pick it up. It's not that heavy, but yeah, you can smash it. So I'm gonna ask: Are you smashing this by punching it, or are you picking it up and then throwing it? Yin is not about to punch a pot. Yin is going to pick it up and throw it with his pets behind him, of course. He's not gonna throw it at them. Because in the case that he punches it and something comes out, he's going to be in melee range with it. If he throws it, then he'll have a bit of time to react if something pops out. Does he make a certain verbal expression while throwing the pot? Ooh, rolling. This is not look good. <laughs> Interesting. Between the shards of pot, you find a bundle of arrows. How useful. <laughs> this will be good for, I guess, just rail. 
unless yeah, I don't have a bow. <laughs> Oh, nice. Sea rail. Me being dead benefited the group after all. You're welcome. <laughs> rail feels a, su a sudden weird feeling. That's like he's being apprehended, but at the same time rewarded. Oh, yes, yes. He also has that feeling. He gets to sense when he's being sassed, even in death. So while Yin is taking a rest, are we cutting back to them, or did Yin just take a rest, get the stuff, and then... Uh... Yeah let's, you back, yeah, let's go back to the party. Hey, party. Okay. Well, yeah, real quick, before we go back to the party, uh, how many arrows is it? Um, how many is in a stack of arrows? Well, how many arrows do you have? Yeah, how many is a stack? It's one stack of arrows. I'm pretty sure 20. 20, okay. Okay, back to the party. So you've paddled. You've been paddling uh, for a while now. And guess who else has sore fingers? Hey, Great. Elvin. Elvin, your fingers are sore from channeling the Eldritch energies through them. <laughs> My fingers hurt. <laughs> all right, all right. You, you can you can take a rest, I guess. Elbin lies down. <laughs> well. How far away are? Hmm? What do you say? How far, how, how far away are we from the dragon? About the same distance. Perfect. <laughs> Good, we've done not, not any progress. This is fantastic. No, I mean... No, I mean, you've gone a go I mean, you've traveled a quite a large distance horizontally. <laughs> okay. But the dragon is so far above you that, like, the hypotenuse of the triangle isn't going to change much in its length. You know? You know, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I don't want to be that guy, but I feel like something is weighing you down. <laughs> no, I have no idea what it could ever be. Also, now that I'm thinking about it, everybody in the party has a companion except for Pan Pan. Hive has um bourbon and um and scarf. scarf. 
and alcohol, and Rail has nibbles. Elbin has unnamed Raven. And Pan Pan's pet is Elbin. <laughs> oh, I feel like um Pan Pan is the party's pet. <laughs> We just keep a, we just keep them around for laughs and giggles. All right, all right. I need to calm them down, just just a little bit. Again. So, so instead, we've been running around, got no clue at all on what to do next. That thing appeared out of nowhere. Now we are here, paddling. Well, I guess now not. We are just in the middle of water, in the middle of this rising ocean. This is not a very favorable situation. At all. Not at all. Wait, can't Yin? Wait, hold on. Yin... Wait, hold on. Hive says that Yin can't use the arrows. Really, Yin doesn't. Really, really, Yin can't summon a bow. I always thought druids could do that. Really? I thought the druids could just- I thought that was like a druid ability, that they could summon a bow. I feel like that would be a bit more with rangers, but I don't- I don't have any spell currently equipped that could let me just have a bow. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> what? Uh, Hive, could you, could you elaborate on that statement that you just wrote in general? The fact that I can correctly punch someone for zero damage? Well, you see, Yin has something called negative strength. <laughs> so, his strength modifier for unarmed strikes is zero. Which means if I hit someone, I do zero damage, and if I get a critical hit, I do double zero damage. <laughs> nice. Anyway. <laughs> Okay, so I think we need, we need a plan. I was about to say a better plan, but we have no plans at all. Uh, only... And Pan? Silence is deafening. Knew. If only we knew how to bring you in back. <sighs> I want to get up on the bird and see if I can see any land nearby other than the village we just left. 
How late is Elbin to get on a hollow boned bird? <laughs> I mean, it's, its wingspan is bigger than him, but actually, let's see how much he weighs. How big is its body? <laughs> He weighs 130 pounds. Well, if he can't ride his raven, um, telepath, I'm. Um, to telepathically speak to the raven and tell him to scope out the place. I just realized that Yin has a bead circlet that he somehow got beneath his horns on his head. So would Elbin have to roll uh, perception checks for his raven based on his the raven's perception? Hmm. Also, you had two weeks to come up with a name for your bird, and you got and you thought of nothing. Yep, I'm just gonna call him Raven. I mean, that's an Elvin thing, honestly. It definitely makes sense. <laughs> so do I have to roll perception checks with the modifier for the raven? Hmm, just scooping out the area? Well, you can see pretty far. The raven tells you something. It tells you that if you does he just hear the priest tells you uh, voice in that every single time he speaks with his raven? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Uh, I mean, he Ooh, didn't, but he hide. does. I mean, he does now. <laughs> he does now. <laughs> In my death, I've only hindered the party. <laughs> hey, you, let me tell you something. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you keep heading in this direction, let me tell you what you're gonna find. Friend. Let me tell you, you're gonna find. I would do that to my bird. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna find a building. It's a built. It's pretty wide. Let me tell you. It's pretty wide. And it's just floating out in the middle. Just floating out in the middle. In the middle, out in the ocean. Out in the water, not on the land, not in the sand, just out in the water. It's a building and it's floating. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you All right, so if we keep heading in the direction um, we're going, we'll reach a building. A floating building. Floating building. Okay, that's a good pinpoint. Yeah. Mm hmm. My bird's useful. Mm hmm. Yeah. We, we tie a rope to the bird. And pull I'm not letting you tie a rope to my bird. Lordy made him sound um like Satan himself. I'm not letting you put a rope on him. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. He did the uh, preacher's voice, not the merchant. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. Do not give Fury any ideas. I think you're forgetting about somebody. You, you see another small raft made of wood float near you. You don't know where it came oh, no. from. <laughs> oh, please! Oi, oi, oi! Oi, friends! It's been a long time since the last time I've seen yours! <laughs> Tell me, how you been doing? Guys! Guys, why? you tell him my crystal, I will hunt you down personally and kill you all. I'm just assuming Gin feels a great disturbance in his soul. <laughs> he just he's quietly resting and then suddenly he gets he gets this feeling of dread coming all over him. <laughs> Why do you have to do that to us? Don't deserve Alright, this is a... <laughs> How tall is the merchant? What? How tall is the merchant? And he drowned in five feet of water. <laughs> what are we talking about a merchant for? By the way, the closer the merchant gets, uh, Yin's crystal just slowly starts trying to roll into the ocean. You need to tell me what merchant you're talking about. I have- I don't know what- what kind of merchant are you- do you- are you looking at? I don't see any merchants. Oh, good, it's just a stupid Australian. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's good, it's just a stupid Australian. <laughs> Would, how tall is this stupid Australian? Would five feet of water drown him? Uh. It hurts. You know. None of us are in the mood to deal with this. <laughs> Don't worry, uh, having real having realized who it is, it's a miracle that he got this far without falling unconscious. <laughs> so um he's pretty short. Is he the old captain? <laughs> Would you know? Have you met them? No. Once. That's it. <laughs> so... You can see a hmm? wait wait you uh okay what was the question? Uh, is that the old captain? Yes. Ask him what happened to his friend the whale. Ah, uh, I don't know. Never heard from him. It's a. Uh, it left one day. How far away is his raft? About twenty feet away. Elvin wouldn't be able to jump over there. Not yet. Even pluck his eyes out. Anyway, I've come to ask for your help. As you can see, we have a problem. It is up there. Please, come, I'll fly you all the way up there. I'll fly you all the way up there. Wait, I'm doing the wrong accent. Hold on. Uh, no. Uh, quick question. If, uh, Yin tries to, uh, summon his, uh, uh, Fey representative, would it be summoned in front of the crystal or where Yin is? Uh... 
That's a good question. Yeah, that is a good question. Okay. I'm assuming Yin doesn't have the spell Unseen Servant. The fake court representative is clearly seen. They do most of the healing for us. Just asking, I'm assuming he doesn't have the spell Unseen Servant. Can druids even learn that spell? I don't think so. They can. Yeah, but why would they do that when they can just ask, like, a fox to do something? Like, Oh, never mind then. If he did, I was gonna, um, ask you, the DM, um, is it possible for a person to escape this death heathen? By the way, I'm seeing Turban is only large warlock wizards. Wait. What do you mean, they... What do you mean, what do you mean, how would Unseen Servant... What does this have to do with escape? Um, Unseen Servant can do anything a person a person can do. So if any person could as possibly escape the death that he's in, um, it, either it'd show him how to escape or it'd allow him to communicate with us. I do complex things like that. What? Can do things a person can do. Yin is not a regular a person. person can do. Yeah, it is it not can a do regular person. Physically, not philosophically. <laughs> Forget about it. <laughs> the closest thing he can do that would mimic this is that he could die and then be brought back by the same spell that summoned him. Like, that's as far as you're going to get with this exact circumstance. Anyway, back to <laughs> where we were, I guess. Oh, by the way, did I ever get a ruling on the, uh, on my, uh, healer representative? It would, um, it would spawn by the crystal because this place where you are is too different. It, it's too unholy. Okay, so about this time, uh, the oh, court order oh. pay would have appeared in front of the crystal to try and heal Yin. Realized Yin's not there and then just dipped and Yin's just went realizing he just can't summon it. Yeah. The place where Yin is is too dry to summon a like a fairy. Not dry as like... in water, dry like there's no magic in the air. Uh, I understand. Yeah, like you can't draw, you can't draw latent en nature energy out of the ground like you can in most places. Yin usually doesn't, but fairies do. So, yeah, they're not going to come here, where it's outside of their range. You know. So it's like I'm going to go with the thing that the the re the fair representative appeared. Uh, they appeared in front of the crystal. Like, basically, all you guys saw was they appeared in front of the crystal looking very disappointed, realizing Yin just wasn't there, looked confused, and then just dipped before you guys could ask them any questions. <laughs> yeah. At that moment, Rail's like, Oh, God, he's still alive! He's alive! He's dead, alive. Just... If my thing could do anything, the... then he's probably even worse than you thought. <laughs> what? If my fey healer couldn't even heal me, it's probably worse than you thought. 
Dan Sure. Oh, by the way, yeah, would I have taken a short rest by this time? You have. Okay. Cool. Moving back onto the rest of the party. What are you doing here? Are you asking the fairy or... Uh, your captain. Or you asking captain? Hold the captain. Captain. Uh, well, captain. Uh... Oh, well. Well, I can tell you why I'm here. I can certainly tell you that. As I already told you, there's a problem. And I need one of you to help. I need one of you. One of you can... I can grab you. And I can fly you up there. And then you can go and fight. You can fight and you can stab at that dragon. I have no doubt that after being out on the sea for so long as you have, surely you've gotten powerful by now. After all, you've been out here for so long. Excuse me. Do you think we... We can fight that thing? Well, I don't know. Have you ever tried? No. And we're not crazy enough to find out. I mean, he is. He maybe is. <laughs> I was about to say, as real saying all this, um, Elbin is just um, ch checking to see if the water is too cold to swim over to him. Well, you really mean to say that in all the years that you've been out here, you really haven't? Thought anything like that? All the, the all the years since our last meeting, it really hasn't. You haven't really fought anything. Not well, surely. No, wait. wait it's what? been like thirty-two moons. I, think I don't I know what you got years from. Anything like that? It's that giant turkey. Giant turkey. Hmm. You must be pulling my leg, eh? <laughs> uh, oh, we met a giant oh, pilgrim dear. turkey. <laughs> well, if it oh, took dear. me all this time to get here and you're already here, then surely you must have... I mean, well, surely you must have been out here, out sailing for as long as I have. There's no way you could have just... I don't know. What? Did you just fall asleep? Did you just fall asleep for a while? Eh. Wait a second. We've been hopping back and forth through different dimension. I think. Yeah. Well, that's quite a condition. I was about to say, is no one questioning how we got here? <laughs> how are you here, even? Yeah. Last time we saw you, you were practically dead on a whale. Yes. I was. So could you care... Did you care to explain how did you got here? Oh, 
Kyoto. I mean, technically, the last time you saw him, Elbin and Yin stopped fighting for a second to just try and murder his ghost again while he was still inside the whale. Yeah. Yeah, so he, um... He goes and, uh... You know... Put, he goes and places his hand into the water, immediately halting his small boat's progress. Mostly you were looking at him, for you realize that this isn't a raft, as you saw earlier. It's... appears to be a narrow speed vessel. You're a bit confused. You thought it was a raft, but no, it's a, it appears to be some kind of speed vessel. How odd. What is that? Y you know, like a racing boat? Yes, I know that, but Elbing doesn't know that. Okay, at this point, what does Elbin know? That's a good Not point. a lot. Doesn't have a, um... Past a fourth grade education. Everything that he's learned is, um... Is by people or his mom. I'm pretty sure you learned to read before the fourth grade. <laughs> Well, there were no books in the woods. your question no we've been basically traveling around coros and stuff we've been having a day and i don't really want to face death for the i don't know how many times i've been put on the spot with this This will be the only time I'm agreeing with him about something like this. There's few things that are certain in this world. Is that him talking? No. No, it's me. Oh. Okay. So, if you don't mind, we're gonna keep going somewhere else. Away from that. I take a small like, chunk of ice and just throw it at him. He catches it and takes a bite. <laughs> All right, well then, over it off. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck on your trips. If you really don't want my help, then I'll understand. Uh, 
Wait. Wait. Before you leave, just tell us how you were able to get here. I sailed my ship. I took it in the water, and I just sailed all the way here. I just kept going in the direction. When it got to be dark, I went and I rolled up the sail, and I went to sleep. When I got to feel hungry, I ate. But I just kept going, just kept going in this direction. And eventually, after traveling so far this way, I got to be here. Right over here, where I am now. Isn't that the say? Surely, you it couldn't have done something so different. So I'm going to roll no. insight to see if he just slept this entire time and got here by accident. It seems like he would have just slept the entire time. We'll yeah, happily no. roll insight for that. I also want to roll insight for that. To see if he's actually telling the truth and not just... 17. 11 plus 6. Well, he does not appear to be lying. Yes. You discern that he is not giving off signs that he's lying. That is what you perceive. We just Are you dead? Probably. How are you alive? Well, why are you? Because I never died. Are you sure about that? Yes. Can, can we take a moment to... I want to take a moment to uh, say that last session um, well, also had this, this idea that maybe they're all dead already. And so far, the gonna... only... oh, sorry, keep going. And he's gonna spiral down that again. If that are true, then that means he is super dead. I mean, to be fair, the only members of our party who has actually died before is Elvin and Yin. I had to use my, what, the one item I got from fighting that stupid knight on Elvin to resurrect him. Do you know anything about resurrecting the dead? Uh, sorry, I don't know. Why is... not coming back because we're already dead. And he's the only one alive. Ah, oh, do I know oh, anything fine. about resurrecting the dead? Well, that's a good question. I mean, I've seen, uh... I've seen some dead, and I've seen some dead resurrected, but... I've never done it, and I don't know how to do it. Maybe you can find somebody else on these grand seas who can lead you to it. Or you could just go talk to my friend Seth. No, you really are truly useless. Look who's talking. What is that supposed to mean? Well, for all this time you've been out on the sea. Look at where you've gotten. 
Yeah, we have not been on the sea at all. This isn't our boat. Our boat turned into some type of demon monster, ran away. We have not been out on the sea for years. We've been out here for like a week and a half. Plus, I don't know what you're talking about years. It's been a week and a half. Probably a month, maybe a month. I've lost track of time, but not years. Also, you're supposed to be dead. And also, this is a completely different world. So Technically, it was his ship that we just stole from him after he died. <laughs> yeah, technically. Well, he shouldn't have entrusted us as crew. You weren't even part of his crew. I <laughs> entrusted you guys as crew. You and Pan Pan weren't even part of his crew. You were part of my crew, specifically. Yeah. <laughs> Yen and I were part of Captain's crew. And the only reason we've lasted this long with, like, a uh, partially incomplete crew is because their roles were redundant. <laughs> the cat, that guy appointed the acid person as the cook. I mean, they weren't a good leader to begin with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We had an acid person as a cook. Eight days, it hasn't even been a week. <laughs> it's been a week. I mean, I, it hasn't even been two weeks. We've been out on sea for one... No, we haven't even been out on sea. We've been on the desert. We've been to two different villages. Um, Both with... One with a stone that tried to kill me, and one with a stone that would have killed me if I gave it the chance. And technically, the stones acted in self-defense. You were touching upon them, so... <laughs> stones had no right. Well, maybe they don't like your funny words, Magic Man. Maybe they didn't... Maybe they just didn't like them. <laughs> Everybody likes my funny words. <laughs> I like your funny words, Magic Man. <laughs> oh, that's what it's from. Ah, oh, yes. Big box. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about Big Box. <laughs> You don't got it's to worry. Raven talking again. You don't got to worry about this guy, cause he don't got that big box. But your friend, <laughs> your friend down there, he do got them big bucks. Now y'all gotta get them if y'all wanna share in that big bank. Now if y'all wanna share up in that big bucks, you gotta go get your friend down there. Don't worry, man. Don't worry about it. trying to sneak past the Fomorians. You're gonna have to worry about. You don't have to worry about the gas archives. Just gotta go get the Duke's from us and help your friend to get them big bucks. Let me tell you something. The only words I heard from that were Duke shrubs and gas archives. <laughs> Big bucks. Lots and lots of big bucks. <laughs> Friend that's somewhere down um, has big bucks. <laughs> Everyone has tried to drown him at this point. <laughs> Except for real. It's a two-hit combo. You sink his ship, and then I cast Earthbind on him, and then he goes all the way to the ground. Not to the water, to the ground. Under the water. He would just keep sinking. What's the Duke Shrub, O oh Mighty Raven? It blinks ravenly. 
<laughs> Raven Lee. The, the Raven blinks Raven Lee. <laughs> what are, the, what are the gas archives? It doesn't seem to currently have the gift of speech. It only talks when it's inconvenient for you. It's a situational <laughs> gift. Only talks it when it would be mo the most annoying. <laughs> Why did I create you? Oh, like, I don't know if you guys talked about it last session, but it seems like it's been a while since we talked about the rod that uh, Rail has. Yeah. I was gonna bring it up yeah, last session, but I didn't. Yeah, Never. the rod's been just sitting... <laughs> just been sitting uh, still while everything else has been going on. Whoever got the crystal with the rod, the one that Doing that could permanently condemn me into death. But are you going to? I'm not gonna risk losing in permanently. We know he's alive because that fate showed up for whatever reason it did left but it it appeared so the raven calls you a coward <laughs> shut up raven I will happily send you back from wherever you came from and exchange you for a rat. Yes, please. <laughs> I'm not giving anyone any ideas, but you both have pets. And right now, you have the perfect arena for a Pokemon fight. Just saying, just saying. <laughs> yeah. Yes, please, please, pull me back where I came from. That would be a great deal for me, let me tell you something. <laughs> I'm so angry at this bird. I hate this bird right now. Uh, it wasn't because I'm the only person... ...person that keeps you... ...that keeps you at bay. And you... And you do not be. I would just... Throw myself into the ocean and drown. I, I will exchange that. you for a weasel! I like how we have three spellcasters in the party and none of us know the spell message. <laughs> I want to send them back. I, I, I'm gonna um, write a. Wait, never mind. Hey, Rail, can you? Do you have any paper? Well, I'm sorry. Are you gonna write something, Mister Illiterate? <laughs> Rail, do you, you have, have any paper? All right. <laughs> You're right. I do have a journal. Um, here, write. This bird is not of satisfactory. I would like a weasel with different personality, please, and thank you. Moi. Real, real looks, overlooks what, <laughs> what Elvin's writing, and it's just gibberish. <laughs> <laughs> I asked, Elvin asked Rail to write that for him. <laughs> Quick question. How many crimes has Elbin confessed to in his journal since he's just had other people write in his journal for him? 
apparently there's eight different crimes. I mean, like, huh? Yin's the only one here who hasn't committed capital offenses. Like, you all can be- Oh, we have committed capital offenses? Oh yeah, like, you all can be killed on sight. Like, it's legal. Because of what- because of, like, y'all have committed crimes. <laughs> Yin's the only one who hasn't. What the heck has Elbing done? <laughs> he probably- the Little suspect- he probably... Oh, keep going, real. Like, and oh, here's probably the thing. brought Doom to some poor village in the past multiple times. Yeah, like, here's the thing. Like, it's not that you all have individually committed them, but it's just that the sum of all of the things you've done have collectively made it so that you could be killed on sight. <laughs> you know nice. what I mean? Like it's like it's the it's the collective sum of everything you've done that gives you you know like you could be killed or you could be or Yin could turn you in for a nice bounty like you do have some like you do all have bounties except for Yin because he's not because like he's actually a uh, you know like there's a difference you between... a war hero. <laughs> No, he's but well, no. could all turn ourselves in for the bounty, then get rail to um um to break us out. That's yeah, not how bounties work. Yeah, but why would you do that? <laughs> yeah, you don't get a good sum of money. You don't get the money though. Yin uh, would get the money, even if you turn well, yeah, in, Yin would still get the money. And why would he want so to Yin help will you? Yin get the money. Yeah, why would he want to help you though? <laughs> Yeah, but why? Why? Because of your crew? <laughs> like family at this point. Uh, he, hey, Hive. Are they family to Yin? The only one that would be considered family would be Rail as the first mate of the ship. Everyone else is basically acquaintances. Elvin is and more of a rival than I have to keep both eye on. No, oh, pets are in a different category. Pets are in an entirely different category. Yeah. Do anything for the pets. Yeah, like... Yeah, I mean, like, y'all... Like, y'all collective bounty is, like... It's, like, 800 gold at this point. Just of the five of you. Because... <laughs> yeah, like... Well, yeah, the government... They, yeah. <laughs> Should we just should we just jump on the captain ship? This leads going faster than ours. Why don't you jump the captain? There's like four. There's three of you and the fish. Uh, <laughs> you know, you would think that. He pulls out his um crossbow. Yeah, but consider this: yeah. he's the only one on his ship. Have you ever heard of any pirate who doesn't have a crew? Like, just consider that. Like, he's on a sailing vessel and he's the only one there. Are you sure? I mean, so is Elvin. Elvin's weak. <laughs> <laughs> it could be an illusion created by the dragon. I think, I think Elvin and Captain are in two different categories. And right, one's a narcoleptic, and one's just physically weak. Yeah. But I'd like to say that two of you have spells that could have sped this entire trip up, like, a ton, <laughs> and you're just not using them. Well, what are those two spells, hmm? Shape water. You can make the flow of the water push you in the direction you want to go. What's the other spell? And? Catapult. 
Yeah, well, um, Elbian's kind of out of commission of spells right now. <laughs> oh, only does like things are like the size of my hand. It's not a size based; it's weight based. But still, yeah, yeah. You take a piece of ice, you tie a rope to it, you tie the rope to the boat, and then you use catapult to throw the chunk of ice. And when it like, and then you all hold on tight. And then when the ice stops in the air, it'll have enough. It'll have a bunch of energy to pull you forward for a bit. And then you can do this multiple times in order to keep going, like, physics. <laughs> but no, you can't do that, because you don't have spells anymore. You don't have spell slots, so no, you can't do that. <laughs> you don't have spell slots. What has the dragon been doing this whole time? You don't know. It's been there, and that terrifies you. It's still just watching. It's just it's... looking down, and that that's terrifying. You would think that... It's just... It's just flying there, menacingly! Oh, that <laughs> makes <a> joke! <laughs> <laughs> it's just standing there, menacingly... Anyways, what were you gonna say? Hear <laughs> it. Mr. Old Captain Man, can you just go away? Well, sure, but then you'd lose out on my precious help for you. And are you sure that you want that? What well, what help can you offer? Well, I've been quite helpful so far, haven't I? No. I know you just <laughs> love to be in my company, don't you? I will happily shoot you. <laughs> I second that motion. And I know you, unlike him. Now please, tell us what type of help you could possibly have to offer us. And if you do have any help that's worth our while, why haven't you told us about it yet? Oh, look at you! You show oh, you have a brain on top of your shoulders. Glad to hear it. I'm gonna pull out my crossbow. <laughs> ah, what you're doing with that, hey? <laughs> that Tell us what type of help you can give us. Those crossbow or I will happily shoot you. That crossbow bolt looks awfully sharp, don't you think? Are you sure you want to be carrying those around, do ya? You sure you want to be carrying those around? Hmm. Elvin, as the current uh, captain of the of the group, you have my total permission to shoot him. I'm gonna shoot him in the leg. He just knows what's oh, up. Oh, come on, let's not do that. I see you aiming. I see you just about to pull the trigger. I don't think that you want to do that, do ya? <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> I will, I will not shoot as long as you tell us what you could do for us and how you can help us. If oh, you keep talking about this help, but what help could you possibly give to us? Hmm. Well, that's a good question. 
Perhaps I could knit you a new pair of mittens. Or perhaps I could go find you a pair of socks to replace those quite moistened ones you have. Or maybe I could even go out and get a new replacement cartridge for that bird. I don't know. Maybe oh, there's a whole lot of things I could do to help you, don't you think? Ah. Or even here. Can you help us survive? Hmm? Could you give us a ride? Oh, I don't think that'll be necessary. You look like you're doing well enough on your own. Besides, I don't have much space on here. Elbin's gonna pay attention to the water and see if, like, the water splashing, like, it's at, like to see if his boat, parenthesis Mark's boat, is, um, actually real. Because if it wasn't real and it was an illusion, the water would, A, go through it, or, um, you wouldn't be able to see any wetness on top of the wood. I mean, it's, it's dividing the water, like a boat does. So it looks real. Yes, it would seem that this is real. It would seem. It appears to be a boat passing through the water. And can I nominate you to go in, in to go on his boat first? What, do you want to capsize it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what, Amos? Uh, Elbin, the not-captain, nominates you to go on to the captain, in quotation marks, boat. And you're very heavy, and his boat is very not built for that. Riley's just quietly at this moment it's just letting he's just letting Elvin go wild with his ideas because he doesn't want to deal with it and he's just writing a very very long paragraph on Elvin's journal oh uh, by the way is your boat still moving or have you guys just been stopped in the sea talking to this guy I would hope that it was still moving. It's still moving. No, oh, let's screw it. I'm going to take the shot. It... Like, he seems to shift just before it hits his leg and you don't see him again I don't think he was real you look to find that your crossbow yeah. has also left oh god well just one other thing to the, to the list of things that have happened that are very degradating to us and he just keeps writing nibbles in the whole page try not to drop this next time <laughs> where is he do we just hear his voice or you do we see, see him? him the crossbow is cocked and pointed straight at your head He's behind you. <laughs> oh, sh There is one thing that could possibly save Elbin's life, and I'm so mad if Rail does not think about this. Because Rail's behind you. Rail is behind Rail is behind his back, correct? 
Wouldn't we all be next to you since Rail was writing in your journal? No, I, I picture him that he took the journal when Elvin passed, passed it to him and then he just went to the back of the raft and started writing away. Okay, so even just... though the... Even though they are behind, they were behind you, they're also behind Rael. They're standing at the edge of the ice raft. No, you, well, not really at the edge, but more you were... Rael's to the side of him. Okay, oh. Mr. Captain Man, no need to get hasty. Don't do anything rash. Don't do anything rash? Uh, something rash like you did? You provoked me. Did I? Damn yes. it, what did I do? You refused to answer my questions. You blocked off my questions with other, um, with answers that were completely unrelated. Um, you wouldn't tell us anything about you. You, um, completely avoided the question about us getting on your ship. Um, you're pointing a crossbow at me. You didn't avoid the ship question. You gave an answer that you all wouldn't fit. You answered all the questions. Just didn't help also, us. Also, I love how Elvin is not questioning how <laughs> the captain got behind him. Plus, you're behind me now, and you're in front of me, which proves you are a ghost. <laughs> or alive. You were dead last time we saw you. And we're in a completely different place. How would you get here? And it hasn't been years. It has been eight days. How do you know that you're not already dead? <laughs> because I haven't died. How do you know about that? Yes, I'm sure about that. The only person that has died at this moment turned into a crystal. You, on the other hand, were a ghost the last time we saw you. Even though he's been knocked out by a stupid rock. Nobody in this party, aside from from those, have died, and I'm here. So, no, we aren't dead. You are the only one that's dead. I like Girl how we didn't even question where his poison friend was. No. <laughs> No, he, Rel just erased that, erased that person from his life because he didn't care. Rel says all of this while pointing uh, his dagger at the captain. Now you're gonna leave. Or, You're gonna leave us alone. Or give us answers. Users, great. We but we'd happily prefer you to just go. Didn't he offer to leave like earlier and then Elvin just started asking more questions? <laughs> well he said that he could offer help. I've been having a hell of a day. And I really, I really don't want to have to deal with any more of this strangeness that's been going on. Get 
Lost. His eyes had been closed this entire time. Before he decides to open them at this moment. To reveal them to be black as obsidian. He drops the crossbow and disappears. His boat goes along with him. Obin just um, runs over to his crossbow as soon as he can and gives it a hug. You hear... Accidentally... You hear accidentally the shooting the bolt. Yeah. You hear the creak of chains. And the gr and a groan of wood. As you see that, in during this time, you have arrived. The floating structure. A great platform of wood and metal with a group of skeletons in rusted armor holding spears and watching you. I will end the session. Hey, you! Okay. Uh, <laughs> before you end the session, before you end the session, like right when uh, ca the captain opens his eyes and reveals him to be Obsidian Black, and just looks up and go who's my luck that's just it <laughs> all right thank you all for coming to watch my stream thank you audience and thank you all for all of the um cash monies. I like donations. And I will see you in the next stream. Until then, though, stay zesty. <laughs>